so here we are I've got the art set that you were interested in purchasing okay. so it is a used set however it is in excellent condition and as you can see, there are a lot of different compartments uh, with the different contents inside. So if you'd like, we can have a bit of a closer look and go through the contents together all right and I believe there are uh, just a few things that are missing from this set so what I can do is make a list of the missing contents which I believe are just a few items and I can attempt to replace those items for you okay? how does that sound? alright, well let's have a closer look and we'll go through all of the contents of this set okay? Okay, so I'm going to go through the contents of this box and I did bring some paper if you'd like to test out any of the supplies and as we go along I can also take some notes on any of the parts that need um, replacing, okay? Okay. So let's just put this to the side for now. And I guess we can start with opening up the top compartment here in these lower drawers here we have a lot of the acrylic paints and I believe in the other drawer there's also some paints So let's open up the top first. Okay, it's a very nice little um, storage box. Okay, so you can see here in the center compartment. We have a sketch pad. So we see that it is high quality, white cartridge, spiral bound and perforated. There are 50 sheets of this A4 paper. So we can see it seems that some of the pages have likely been used. Uh, 
just taking a quick flip through. It seems as though all of the remaining pages are intact. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to To just jot down that the sketch pad is intact. Do you agree? Okay, this is all right for you. All right. All right, so now let's look at some of the supplies you can see here. Just move this over a bit. You can see included on this compartment to the left, we have all paint brushes in all different sizes. Okay, so we can um, take a closer look at each paint brush and make sure that they're in good condition, okay? And you can see on the compartment to the right we have a set of sketching pencils here. Okay, and we can see that there are a few missing a closer look at each pencil and we will try and replace the missing pieces, okay? Alright, so let's have a look at these um, utensils. Okay, so let's see. As for the brushes here, let's see, we've got in order. of each one. Okay. So we can see here, this is the number three uh, paintbrush. Okay, you see the wooden handle. And let's see the the brush seems to be completely unused. Okay, 
So this one, I believe, is in perfect condition here. Okay. And let's see, number four here. So the number four seems to have been used. There's a bit of black colored paint on the handle there. And the bristles here, they are not um, too overused. You can see they're still pretty soft. Okay, so I would say that is in good condition here. Alright, so let me make sure to keep track of the condition of these items. So, as for the paint brushes, we have the number three, and that one is in excellent condition. Number four is in used, but good condition. on number five. Number five seems to be used as well. It's a bit of paint on the handle. But again, the bristles here are still very soft. and not overly used or dried or damaged in any way. Do you agree? All right. So that's number five. And used, but good condition. And here we have the number six. And the number six brush seems to also be very gently used here. However, um, there's not much damage at all to the handle or the bristles. It seems that possibly these brushes may be uh, just accidentally got some paint, maybe, as like a transfer while using other items in the set because the bristles are still in very good condition. So I would say the number six is also in good condition, only because of the paint on the handle. have a bit of coloring on the tip there. However, the bristles are still very soft. It seems they were taking uh, pretty good care with the cleaning of the brush after use. I would say that this one is also in good condition. So let's put this down 
here I've got the numbers 5, 6, and 7 brushes They are all in use but good condition Okay I'm just four more brushes here so here we have brush number nine and brush number nine seems to be unused we can see there's no paint on either the handle or the bristles and the bristles are still very soft and intact so I would say that this brush is in excellent condition okay so that's brush number nine And here we have brush number 10 and brush number 10 also seems to be in excellent condition there's no paint anywhere on this brush from what I can see seems as though it is completely unused we can see the bristles still perfect perfectly soft and it seems untouched okay that's brush number 10 then we've got brush 11 here and brush number 11 also seems to be in perfect condition and examining both the wooden handle as well as the bristles we can see it seems completely unused and Is brush number 12 so brush number 12 we can see is also in perfect condition in looking at the handle as well as the bristles there's no paint residue anywhere and the bristles are untouched okay perfectly pliable soft Brushes number nine, 
10, 11, and 12 are in excellent condition. Okay. And you agree with that analysis? All right. So let's have a look now at the pencils on the other side of the tray. Okay. All right. So here we have your set of sketching pencils. Okay, so the set normally would come with, let's see, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pencils. But we can see that there are one, two, three, four pencils missing, along with what likely was an eraser, as well as a pencil sharpener. Okay, so let's see the pencils here. We have pencil 2B. So got pencil two H. Pencil two H. Just 
three more pencils here. So here we have pencil 3H. Okay. So let's see here. we have our 4H. Pencils seem to still have their length. Some have been used, but we are missing some pencils. So let me take note of that. As for our pencil set, we are missing four, and I will make sure that they are the right um, type of pencil. Okay. 
Okay, so we have examined the contents of the top uh, cabinet here. So now we can look at the contents of the two drawers down here at the bottom. So we can see first in the front row we have some different acrylic paint tubes and in the back of the tray here we have two things we have a, a little painter's palette small tray. Let me see, it has six little um, spots for your paint. Okay, so this is a small palette, but it appears to be unused. This plastic, so I'm sure it is easy to be cleaned. Okay. So the contents of this drawer appear to not really have been used. We'll have to take a look at the tubes of acrylic paint. So here we have little tray of watercolor cakes. Okay, so we can see um, it comes with 12 different colors. So the colors are not named, but we can see the little emblems here on each little piece and that lets us know that these colors have not been used because none of the surface is disturbed. Alright, so let's see. I think they're glued in there. So we can see the colors are black, we have a light green, we have like a turquoise, we have a dark blue, and a light blue, we have purple, and here we have a yellow. an orange and here is a light brown or almost like a mustardy color and then here we have a hot pink color and a red and a darker brown color Okay, so this is in excellent condition. Okay, so now we can have a look at each of the acrylic paint tubes here. And we'll just see if the containers seem to have been opened and used at all. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to write down first the contents of the 
the painter's uh, palette and the watercolor cakes. They are in excellent condition. Okay. Okay, so let's start over here. This is our first color. Alright, and this color is number three, two, four, and it's called Vermilion. So this is a 12 milliliter tube. And we can just open up the top here. And you can see that the seal is not yet perforated. So this color seems to be completely unused. Our next tube here. This is another 12 milliliter tube and this is color 450 and it has a long name. It's Thalo cyanine or cyanine blue. Okay, so it's like a dark sort of royal blue color. Let's have a look. The seal there is still intact as well. Okay, so this color is unused. Tube number three here is color 302 and it's called Scarlet. Okay, so let's have a look. And we can see the seal is intact. Okay, okay so tube number four. This one appears to have been used. And this color is 268 or violet. But we can see that there is paint on the cap. So this color has been opened. Okay, but it appears that much of the paint is still in the tube. It feels pretty full. So it's up to you if you'd like for me to replace the tube or to discount the price for you to compensate for the little bit of missing paint. Okay. And tube number five. This is color 298 or cerulean blue. It's like a teal color. Let's 
open this one up. This one is also unopened. Two more left here. This color here is five six zero. It's called Viridian. It's like a green color. So the the uh, tube has been unopened. You can see. you like for me to handle this used tube of paint? Okay, we'll just take a bit off of the price. And that was color violet. it was used just a bit. You can tell right here. Okay, but not overly used. The next color here is a blue. Okay, it's sort of a medium shade of blue. And we can see this one has also been used just a bit. Okay, but there's still a lot of the 
product left. And the next here is a red color. Okay. And we can see that it doesn't appear to have been used. a bit like a berry kind of color there. Okay. And our next color is orange. And this color does not appear to have been used. So, let's see, I can use it just a bit. This is our yellow. Here is our green. And here we have sort of a, maybe we'd call it like a burnt orange color. It has a very autumn-y feel to it. And it seems to be completely intact. So let's see. Okay, so this is our other orange color here. You can see how it compares to the other orange. A little darker. No, not really. 
we can't really tell on this white paper. Just to draw a few lines. as well. Okay, so here is our purple. And let's have a look at our Pencil is C 
085 Coral Pink This pencil appears to have been used So let's see if I can get any color from it And then our next pencil here is C, 
118 and the color is called coffee so this one needs a little bit of sharpening I don't believe that I can get any color out of this one onto the paper okay. so our next pencil is C040 and the color is called foliage green okay, so slightly used here so let's get some color from this one
brown color. the 
paper. You can see each color. Alright, so you can see here. This was the black. This is the dark mineral blue. Oh, that's this one here. Right here is the ultramarine and the coral pink and then we have the tangerine and the light gray this is the orange red and the the orange mauve we could not draw with this was the dark olive green and the magenta this is the cherry red and the coffee we could not draw with but then we have the foliage green the yellow the vermilion the deep blue sky coral, the sepia, the pink, we have the chocolate, the cyan blue, then we had the white, the turquoise green, the sienna, the rose pink, the light pink, then we had the peach buff or puff, and the gold orange. Okay, so that's all of our colors. So I will write down that most of the Pencils are intact, in excellent condition, and those few of the pencils are used in good condition, may be replaced at buyer's request. So let me put this one away. Okay, turn this around here. Okay, so I would also just like to point out that this carrying handle on the side is also intact and in perfect working condition. Alright, so is there anything else that you'd like to look at or hear about for this kit here? I believe we've gone over everything. Alright, so I've written down all of the details of our inspection. So if there's anything else that you would like to mention, just let me know. Otherwise, we can get this all wrapped up for you and ready to go. Okay? Alright, thank you so much.